friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show an industrial problem. It is a specific type of heat exchanger. It is a cross-flow heat exchanger used in a specific type of industry. So this is our model. Inside the pipes, some uh, springs are provided. Some specific cross-sectional area is provided to have a, a specific amount of heat transfer used in industry. So in this case, we have to do some kind of analysis, parametric study and finally optimization uh, based on some input variables. You can see the problem. This is the input and from here we will provide air at a rate of 1.354 kg per second and the temperature of air will be 760 degrees centigrade and from the side wall also we will provide hot preheated air at a rate of 1.3 kg per second and the temperature of this preheated air will be 250 degrees centigrade. In this case goal will be to find out exit temperature at this end but at the same time we have to find out temperature of preheated air at this side wall also okay and the leads have already been provided we have made this model transparent for viewing these flow particles we have made this model transparent for better view of these flow particles okay first of all we have to start this simulation with the initiation of flow simulation environment and that can be done using wizard itself right starting with wizard and uh, providing the name of this project at default project 3 yeah keeping the unit system as SI system and keeping temperature as degree centigrade next it will be an internal analysis and we're considering heat conduction in solids next gases we're considering here only so we have to provide air at two different locations because we are having two different fluid subdomains with different temperatures. Next, considering material as mild steel. Next, default out of wall thermal conditions and roughness we are considering. Thermodynamic parameters we are considering pressure as 101325 Pascal and considering temperature as 20 degrees centigrade so solid temperatures also definitely it will be 20 degrees centigrade finish now you can see the computational domain always it is preferable to have as small as possible the domain because more the domain more will be the time for calculations and while considering this domain, it should be taken into consideration that all the parts of this model should be inside this domain. So we can edit these things if it is required. Let's edit this domain. This is done to ascertain that all parts of this model should be inside this domain. Done. Green check. So our model is ready. Now we can hide this domain for applying our boundary conditions. And before that we have to define the fluid subdomains because we are having two different domains for fluids at different temperatures and for having these subdomains we can have a segmented view of this model let us cut that model from some specific planes let's cut this from top plane and let's drag it let us drag it a little bit done green check now we can define the different subdomains fluid subdomains insert fluid subdomain first of all from the left hand side we have to provide hot air at a temperature of 760 degree centigrade so we will provide air and temperature will be 760 degree centigrade we have to provide that location of that air So this is the location from here we have to provide hot air at a rate of 1.354 kg per second and temperature will be 760 degrees centigrade. Green check. 
done so we can see clearly that through these pipes only we will provide hot air at a rate of 1.354 kg per second and temperature will be 760 degrees centigrade right you can see it very clearly right this is the subdomain for hot air from left to right at a rate of 1.354 kg per second and temperature will be 760 degrees centigrade Green check next one we will apply preheated air from side wall so another domain to be selected insert fluid subdomain and that one will be air at a rate of 1.3 kg per second and temperature will be 250 degrees centigrade you have to locate that place it will pass from here right so we can select it for better selection you can make it little bigger this is the domain now for understanding this we can do one thing like we can see from this side that this is the domain but these five locations are completely vacant better to see this from this view from better to see this one from side you can see that this domain is actually from side we are providing free heated air from side and these pipes are actually vacant these pipes are actually having different domains right clear these are actually hollow pipes from these pipes we are providing air at a rate of 1.354 kg per second and temperature will be 760 degrees centigrade and from the side walls we will provide preheated air at a rate of 1.3 kg per second and temperature of preheated air will be 250 degrees centigrade green check done so we can see the complete view of this model this is our completed model right so fluid subdomains have been provided and solid materials we have already provided the material is mild steel now we have to apply boundary conditions now for applying boundary conditions we can have different approaches i always suggest to have the segmented view of this model to provide boundary conditions excluding that one we can uh, have some other methods also like select select other sites that is also possible but i always suggest to have a segmented view of this model to provide boundary conditions right so we'll apply boundary conditions right now so we want to have a segmented view of this model right again like the previous case we we'll cut this from the top view green check now we have to provide a boundary conditions insert boundary condition we have to provide air at a rate of 1.354 kg per second 1.354 kg per second and temperature will be 760 degrees centigrade you have to fight from left side right so for applying this one we can have a zoomed view of this one So from this location, we have to provide hot air at a rate of 1.354 kg per second and temperature will be 760 degrees centigrade. Select. Green check. So first boundary condition is applied. Now we have to apply the second one. That means from the side wall, we have to provide preheated air at a rate of 1.3 kg per second and temperature will be 250 degrees centigrade. Right? We have to provide from this side. Okay? So second boundary condition, insert boundary condition. The rate will be 1.3 kg per second. And thermodynamic parameters we're considering 250 degrees centigrade from side walls, right? From here itself. If we have doubt, we can do something. We can see the isometric view of this one. And again, reorient that is from side wall, we have to provide preheated air from here itself, right? So we can rotate a little bit. 
can rotate this one with a point from here itself. Select, green check. So second boundary condition is also satisfied. You can see from here, from left side from here, we are providing hot air at a rate of 1.354 kg per second at a temperature of 760 degrees centigrade. And from side walls, we are providing preheated air at a rate of 1.3 kg per second and temperature of that one is 250 degrees centigrade. Now on the last one recognition that is from the exit end we have to provide atmospheric pressure condition. So last one recognition we are applying insert boundary condition it is environmental pressure at the exit location can select it selected green check so all the boundary conditions have been applied properly now we can select some goals now in this case we are not bothered about like dynamics of flow particles we don't want to see how these fluid particles are moving we are bothered about the exit temperature at two different locations at the exit end here and at the side walls also that means we want to have two different locations temperatures that is going to have goals surface goals needed insert surface goals and have average temperature of fluid at two different locations first location is at the exit location green check we can rename this surface average temperature of fluid at exit done now another goal to be defined that means at side wall we're going to have temperature of fluid so goals insert surface goal Average temperature of fluid. We want to have the location of the side walls. So, for better selection, first of all, we'll select the isometric view of that one. Now, we have to select that side walls, right? For selection of side walls, we can do one thing. can do select select other also select select other face this one again check so two goals we have defined the second one we can rename it as average temperature fluid at side walls so both the goals have been defined now we can run this before running we can have a complete view of our model this is our model okay let's select the isometric view of that one this is our model now we can run it let's start new calculations run it you can see the solver window has already started iterations it is preparing the model it will take some time for getting all these results the solver is finished. We got our final results. Now we can check it from the solar window itself. And that average temperature at the exit end is 350 degrees centigrade. So we got a reduction of temperature. Similarly, the second one that means we have provided preheated air from the side walls, and preheated air temperature was 250 degrees centigrade. And finally, we got the temperature of heated air as 747 degrees centigrade. That means it has gained a huge amount of temperature. Its gain is near about 250 to 750 approximately. That is equal to, you can say, like approximately 500 degrees centigrade gain in temperature of the preheated air. Right? Now, we'll see the results from the cut plots and other things. Let's close this part. Now from results we will see cut plots and flow trajectories also. 
cut plots. Before seeing this cut plots, we can do one thing. We have to make this model transparent for seeing the flow trajectories and flow particles. We have to make the model transparent. Let us make it transparent from the geometry itself. Let's select the geometry. So the model is transparent now. First of all, we want to see cut plots from front plane. And we want to see temperature of fluid. Green check. Better to see this temperature distribution of fluid in the form of animation. Cut plot 1. Let's play. Now we can do one thing, like you can see this cut plots along the different planes also. Let's clear and hide this part. Now we want to see this cut plots along the right plane. Cut plot, insert. And we want to check this cut plots along the right plane. Green check. Let us see these things in the form of an animation. Now we want to do one thing like surface plots we want to see we want to check surface plot also clear and hide this part surface plots insert use all faces and we want to check temperature of fluid we can check you can see at the top surface the temperature is very high to have an uniform temperature distribution uh, the model needs to be modified. Okay. We are not bothered about to see the dynamics of these flow particles. Our main aim is to get the temperature at the exit end by the same time, the sidewall also. And finally, we have to conduct a parametric study. And from the data obtained from the parametric study, we have to go for some kind of optimization. Right. So, we can see our goal plots we have already seen from the solar window. Let's see the goal plots. Insert goal plots. We want to see all the goals. Show. This one we have already seen from the solar window itself. That average temperature of fluid at the exit end is 350.19 degree centigrade. And average temperature of fluid at the side wall is 747.16 degree centigrade. We can check these things in the form of graph also from history. Average temperature of fluid initially it was 726 degree centigrade. And finally, after 80 numbers of iterations, it has come down to 326.85 degree centigrade. Similarly, for the side walls, the initial temperature was 26.85 degrees centigrade and after 80 numbers of iterations it has gained a huge amount of temperature and its final temperature is 726.85 degrees centigrade okay now all this data we can transfer it to excel and we can have a better analysis of these things we are restricting our analysis to this stage only the parametric study and optimization part we will do in any other video. So this is all about our today's analysis of a cross flow heat exchanger used in industry. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.